Jazz Collective's Vocal Jazz Camp. An exciting three-day residential summer course for young vocalists aged 14 to 18. A wonderful welcoming haven where you can build a lasting national network of truly creative friendships. Led by singer-songwriter, jazz pianist, composer, arranger and educator Pete Churchill. Teacher of Composition and Arranging at London's Royal Academy of Music, Head of the Jazz Vocal Department at Brussels Royal Conservatoire, and Founder of the much-celebrated London Vocal Project, specialising in contemporary jazz and groove-based music. During the day, the course focuses on ensemble singing, while in the evening, everyone's invited to sing solo in the open mic. This isn't open to the general public and is only attended by the students on the course. It's a really lovely, supportive environment. The Vocal Jazz Camp's repertoire is always a combination of beautifully crafted ensemble pieces and individual solo pieces chosen by each of the vocalists. As with everything that NYJC does, the three days will focus on learning most of the music by ear. So let's invite Pete to tell us a bit more about why we're running this course, what sort of things we'll be focusing on. I happen to think that jazz singers are at a disadvantage, especially in this country, because they tend not to have vocal group experience. And if you're an instrumentalist, you tend to play in ensembles, often big bands, and when a lot of instrumentalists gather together, then they deal with a lot of the fundamental issues of, uh, of this music, which have to do with rhythm and feel and phrasing and articulation. And uh, whereas jazz singers tend to practice on their own and they work with records, but they, they don't get that situation of being in a jazz ensemble and reaching some collective understanding of, of the best way to articulate things to make them, to deepen your groove and the time feel. And so all the, all the jazz vocal teaching I do uh, has an element of ensemble singing in it, where we try and deal with those issues so that they have the same experience as they might if they were an instrumentalist. And then they carry that through, hopefully it filters through into their solo singing. Um, and you can feel you can sing with more rhythmic authority because you've had that experience. So my approach to jazz singing is 50% of what you do is text. And uh, unfortunately that isn't usually studied enough. Singers are meant to be storytellers, um, the great jazz singers have a real affinity with, and with, with text and how to articulate it for the best possible rhythmic outcome. But most jazz singers become lyricists. That's when you create your own repertoire that nobody else has. You choose your tunes and you lyricize them. So we've been talking about articulation, making sure we have a, we, a shared vocabulary to talk about sounds. Um, I'm a great believer in sound before meaning. That if you get the sound right, the meaning will follow. And uh, so I think that, that it's very valid for jazz singers to, to talk a lot about lyrics. And I did a songwriting session and wrote a song together. Um, and we've also done some analysis. So the question of keys is interesting. Singers need to find the optimum key, not only for where the song sits in the register, but for what they might want to do with it. So it's either improvising and paraphrasing, they might need room above and below where they're singing it. So it's quite crucial to kind of understand not only the register of your voice, but also what kind of improvisers you are and vocally, and what kind of embellishments you might want to do when you're deciding the key that the tune wants to be in. Try and navigate the key so that they're not too uh, unfriendly for instrument interests. But within that, I think there should be lots of flexibility when you're choosing the key. So improvising singers uh, tend to be influenced by instrumentalists. So I would always say for every instrumental solo, you should have a vocal solo. Like that. my students in Brussels, they have to transcribe uh, one of each. So and so, you, but there are people who sit in between that. You have like uh, you have instrumentalists who improvise very vocally. They're very singable. Like like there's a certain era of Miles where he's very singable. He's not too big. Chet Baker, obviously, these are instrumentalists that are very singer friendly in terms of um, learning solos. Uh, Dexter Gordon is fantastic for singing because he's just so clear. You know, just get
get curious and be, uh, you should probably do one a week, learn to sell a week. Thank you. 